I'm starting a new project. I just signed up for an ant weight combat robot competition April 11th, meaning I have three weeks to build myself a robot. So the weight limit's one pound, and I've kind of looked at some of the other successful robots, and I've decided to go with an upward rotating drum. Not ideal for a beginner, but I want to see some carnage. So I'm going to drive it with a brushless motor. It's going to be belt drive, so I don't destroy the motors that I'm using for remote control airplanes by building this robot. And uh, I don't have solid rigs with me, so I'm starting to map out where all the components are going to do just using sketches. I'm going to recycle the motors that I had, the GM3 motors they were using for my National Box Challenge robot. So I'm just sketching these out. I'll probably 3D print the body, which is not ideal, but I have a limited time and limited budget. We'll see how this works out. So I went ahead and printed the chassis, and I'm actually pretty happy. It's 0.15 of a pound, so even though it's not the strongest material, I have plenty of weight left over for armor and a weapon. I also went over it with a heat gun to help uh, strengthen it a bit. And then the wheel actually turned out to be less than the weight of a dime, so that's kind of impressive. I also 3D printed the weapon, but unlike the chassis and the wheels, it's 100% infill, so it's solid. It spins on a 3mm steel axle and has bolts that stick out of it to catch the opponent. Joining polycord belting was something new that I've never done before. So I was able to use a soldering iron to melt the ends of the belting and then hold it the best I could together. After about 30 seconds of solid pressure, um, the belt was joined and it actually is really durable. I've yet to break one. With the drive belt done, it was time to wire it up and test the weapon. That went well, so I started to focus on armor. I made wedges for the front of the robot and covered them with steel plating. And then I sanded the edge of the wedges as sharp as I could so that they'll get under the opposing robots. And then finally, the last step was to break out the urethane and mold the tires. And those were quite difficult to get out of the mold, but eventually I got them, and they turned out pretty grippy. So here's a little tour of the final product. 